Hey everyone, so welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. So this is uh, Dr. Lowell Sala of NYC Emerging Healthcare Technology and I'm so very excited uh, at what we're going to do today, what I am going to show you because this is something that is, uh, what's this, that is free and you can access this online and you can actually do it on your own to check. And then it's also browser based so you're able to actually immediately show them show them to your friends show them to your family or to your significant other about this machine learning project that you are able to do so this is uh, an image classification of this project or program which makes use of mobile net and p5.js so as you can see here, uh, you can upload the photo, for example, the photo of a cat, and then it is able to correctly or incorrectly, or at least at what level or at what confidence uh, was this that it is able to, to, to mention or identify the photo that you uploaded. So with this one, it is able to say that this is a photo of, for example, a tabby cat with a confidence of uh, 0.34 or 34%. So let's do that. Let's try another uh, photo, for example. So I have like six photos here. Let's try uh, the, uh, this, the, the vaccine, for example. Let's do that. Let's try the vaccine so just save it and then we just refresh and see for example uh, this photo and then it is able to label that this is a photo of a syringe with a confidence of 0 0.90 0 0.9 or 90 percent let's look at the uh, what's this the bird for example let's see if it's able to identify the bird so let's do that let us again refresh and see so correctly, very nice. No? Uh, it is able to identify that this is a photo of a robin, American robin specifically, with uh, the genus and the scientific name, with a confidence of 0.99 or 99%. Let's do another one. Let's have, because I, I think I have, uh, yeah, this one. Let's, let's see if it is able to correctly identify the, uh, what's this, the virus. So, okay, let's click that one. Then let us refresh again and see the photo there so i i took this photo actually from unsplash you know unsplash.com so if you want to visit you want to get free analysis photo you can go to unsplash.com so as the label you can see it's a microphone and mic so it's not very good so with the confidence of 0.65 only of 65 percent so it does if you look if, if you think about it it actually looks like a microphone but then again it was not able to do that so as you can see the the program is not yet uh it's not perfect it's far from perfect but at least it is able to help you um, identify uh, what's this uh, your your the photos that that you have so let's do that let's try another one let's get to the syringe thing so with the syringe let's do that and then let us refresh again so see so it is able to label, it's saying that the machine is, uh, the, the program is actually saying that this, the photo that you uploaded is a photo of a syringe with a confidence of very nice, right? It's 0.99 or 99%. So, so that is the project that we are going to do. Uh, so, but yeah, but before we do that, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you will be able to actually hear and see every time I upload a new video and also make sure to click the like button if you like it. And yeah, make some comments if you, if there's any project, if anything that you want me to tackle, any uh, discussion or any a project, for example, that you want me to, to do, please uh, DM me or make uh, what's this, uh, a message, message me. And then, and then, yeah. So, so with that, I think we, uh, we are going to go now and do the project itself. And I'm so excited. I hope that you are also excited because this is something that's, that's, uh, relatively not, well, it's not relatively new, but it's something that is fascinating for, for technologists and technology enthusiasts and for healthcare practitioners and, and anyone who's actually wants to, to help, you know, uh, identify, uh, says correctly identify, um, images that you upload so so with that let us go let's go to the next chapter okay so we are back and 
and yeah before uh anything else yeah i'd like to thank you all for for being here and for taking time to actually uh assist um, be with me uh for for this uh for this day or night <laughs> and yeah wherever you're in the world i hope that you're safe and i hope that you know you are protected and uh i know that with coronavirus you know all over um i hope that you know we'll be safe i i believe that you know ultimately we we are going to be safe so with that um the first thing that i want you to do is go to ml5js.org because this is where our this is our machine learning uh, code is going to be and and uh, what you do is you just go to ml uh, mls ml5js.org and then it tells you about the friendly machine learning for the web and a neighborly approach to creating and exploring artificial intelligence in the browser and then you will kick, uh, click at get started and then after getting started so welcome to so every time you look at what's this code uh, platforms you always look at the documentation because usually most of the time uh, the documentation will actually what says tell you everything so what we do is just go to um what's this um where is it again uh, introduction to ml5 and then a gentle introduction to ml5 <laughs> i like that one so hello there you've landed here that probably means you're interested in building your first ml5.js project if so we invite you to read on so what does it tell us is that uh, ml5.js is actually being uh, developed to make machine learning more accessible to a wider audience so anyone who has uh, this who, who can code anyone who has the ability to actually uh, what's this to actually can actually create something using their uh, using the this is a tensor or this platform so what it does is that so along with that supporting education critical engagement with machine learning the team is actually working actively to to create you know exciting functionalities and friendly and easier to use so that anyone again would be able to actually use and create their own uh, machine learning uh, models or machine uh, machine learning um, as projects or programs immediately so uh, ML5 is actually uh, that JS actually growing every day to make sure also to you know click uh, on the reference uh, side. So uh, so that so the first thing that we are going to do is go to create our project. So we are going to create our folder. So this is mkdir. Uh, what do you want to make of this project? So let's just say the title is by image underscore classification. Very nice, right? And then you change directory, go to image underscore, yeah, just uh, CD, I keep forgetting this D. So you go to CD uh, image classification, and then afterwards, you're just going to say touch, um, index, touch me in the morning, index.html, and then index.css, if you like, and index.js for your JavaScript. And then uh, you go to your uh, what's this? You open it with your um, what's this editor with your text editor. So there are many types of editor. Actually, I started uh, I started with Sublime, and then I graduated into Atom and Atom, sorry. And then eventually I fell in love with the Visual Studio Code because it's so much easier for using what's this the the Visual Studio Code. And then uh, what's this? So we go now to our guide. Let's see. So this is an example of uh, what's this? Um, uh, a demonstration of uh, a project that is done. This is built with p5.js. So this is all the documentation, and this is the what's this? The index.html. So we actually do, we're going to copy this, but then we are slowly we're going to discuss this uh, what's this later on um, how to go about this. So uh, we just copy the the head. The body and copy and then so okay be this one because this is redundant and also this one this is redundant so and then this is the oh, this is the your CDNs, your JavaScript. So anyone who was this, 
JavaScript is so basic, you know, that's one of the reasons why I think everyone should learn JavaScript as part of their uh, curriculum. I know a lot of people would prefer uh, learning Python and all that, but, you know, personally for me, um, I, I prefer using JavaScript. So SR script SRC, so we know we didn't use sketch, we are using, again, index.js, because we are using index.js. Then afterwards, we go to uh, the JS file, and then we just, um, and then we're going to uh, slide, uh, discuss this extensively uh, in a while. There's a copy here. Yeah, copy the clipboard. So I will just go to uh, this index.js and then paste that one. So the first uh, thing that we have to understand whenever we're creating uh, is this uh, uh, our machine learning model is you know initializing the image classifier method with mobile net so a callback needs to be passed so that's why we uh, we, we uh, what's this we say let classifier and then a variable to hold the image that you want to classify classify so this is your image and then the first function that we do is the preload so the classifier and then the image to, to load the image so right now it's image that uh, uh, images at bird at png and then uh, this, that this is the first function and the second function is uh, for the setup and then we also need a function to uh, what's this to run when there are errors in the results so if it's unable to read your uploaded uh, photo or uploaded uh, what's this image so if that happens it will show you an error uh, in your console so uh, we are going to make uh, what's this um, uh, a folder for this one which is the images and then that's where we are going to put our uh what's this our images so okay so let us do that so we have uh what's this i'm going to just copy all these images that we have here because it's more fun and then click to uh what's this index.html and then just open to your fire explorer so and then copy these images here and then paste it and then uh, what's this uh, look at our index at HTML see is if everything is good and then read it with your uh, open it with your browser or your Chrome for this one browser so oh there's something wrong as you can see so uh, what it just tells you so it's not the same as this one right so uh, what it will tell you is that the label and the window screen with a confidence of 0.18 so you can uh, says there's something wrong with it so what what could possibly be wrong with it you know so we don't have a server <laughs> actually so so actually if you look at here um, yeah let's do that let's look at uh, this is the developer tools so what do this uh, tell you so the console you always look at the console whenever you have any problem so it just tells you that it is unable to access the image from origin because it has been blocked by the CRS policy across origin uh, was this policy and only supported for protocol schemes such as HTTP, Data Chrome or Chrome extensions such as actually HTTPS. So what do you do? You need to, uh, what's this? You need to um, uh, install a server for this one. So that's why you need your npm install slash g http server and i think that's correct so after installing your uh server hopefully it will work so we will just uh what's this write http and let it run server uh c and one now let us see if it is working so with this uh, server, you can, uh, what's this? You can click, see this one, use this one. So copy and then uh, try to, uh, what's this? Click the server. So see, everything is good, but unfortunately the image is not there. So we have to, uh, what's this? Look at our code again. Press that index it, uh, and then the bird at PNG. We have a bird that's a JPEG, so it should be uh, .jpg. So, okay, so it's not able to find it. So everything's good. So as you can see, 
let's see what is the let's just close this one so oh very nice so the uh, what is the machine the, the 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 program was able to detect that this is a photo of a robin uh turdus migratorius which is the genus and the species name so this is the scientific name with the of the bird and then with a confidence of 0.92 but let's see the other photos because we have like i think five photos right so the bird the cat and the me you know and the syringe and the vaccine and the virus so let's do that let's look at let's see um uh, what's this cat o2 dot jpg so okay let's look at that one let's see if it's the same so tabby cat uh, yeah uh, the confidence is 0 0.39 or 39 percent let's look at let's look at myself what <laughs> Does he have any record of me? Let's let's see that. So just save and then uh, let's, let's refresh that one. Let's see what it says. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, slot. At least the confidence interval is 0 0.07. So, you know. <laughs> okay, let's try another one. Let's look at the this uh, is the syringe that I have. Right, I think I had syringe the photos of uh, the syringe let us look at say range so let us refresh again and see how oh, what is the confidence interval for this one oh it's very high so it's able to identify that this is uh this is an uploaded photo of a syringe with a confidence of 0.97 or 97 percent pretty high if you if you uh, what's this if you think about it and then after syringe let look let us look at vaccine Okay, vaccine, and then refresh. Let's see if it is working. And oh, it was it's mentioning that it is a microphone or mic with a confidence of 0.4. So as you can see, it's not perfect. It's not you know, uh, it's not 100% perfect, but it's 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 a feature and it's going to help you actually you know decrease the 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 level of. That's why you still need humans to actually uh, check, and then you have to look at the basis for the recommendation. So what's the what's this how did they came about this so this is like a this is a supervised learning uh uh type of machine learning and then let's look at the virus is it going to be nice okay so oh it's a dish rag or a dish cloth with a confidence of 0 0.09 or zero or nine percent so yeah so as you can see it's not perfect but at least you know it was able to identify uh, some of the things that that we wanted to identify and it changes every now and then based on the uh the the, the, the photos and the, the way it is uploaded and all that thing so uh this so 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 that so yeah so so we end again and <laughs> this session and yeah if if you have any questions, if you want to learn more about, you know, machine learning about, uh, you know, later on blockchain, I'm going to discuss about all those things. If you want to learn more about emerging healthcare technologies, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to tell your friends to please subscribe so that I can make more, you know, better content uh, for this one. And and with that, I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to like and comment if there's anything that you want to say or mention if there's anything that you want me to actually discuss uh, and you know uh, create then i'd be more than willing so this is dr sala once again of nyc emerging healthcare technology physician web developer and a digital health specialist so if you have any questions yeah feel free thank you and i hope you have a good day be safe everyone